In about six weeks, the federal government will run out of money. We won't be able to pay our bills. If that happens, we will go into default for the first time in our history. It would cause a major recession, millions of jobs would be lost, and it could trigger a global financial crisis. That's what happens this summer if we don't fix this. There is a proposal that will let us pay our bills that passed out of the House last week, but it's dead on arrival in the Senate because it cut things like veterans' health care and law enforcement and education. By the way, it almost didn't pass, but at the last second, George Santos ran out and cast the deciding vote. Pretty wild that it all came down to him. <laughs> so now the Senate will come up with its proposal, which leads a lot of people to see this as a negotiation between Republicans and Democrats, and it kind of is, but there's a tougher negotiation behind that one. It's between Speaker McCarthy and his right flank. Those are the 30 or so hardline conservatives who are calling for the biggest cunts. My sense is there could be plenty of deals on this between Republicans and Democrats, but the real sticking point is that there might not be a deal that lets McCarthy keep his job as Speaker. Here's why. If his right flank isn't on board with a deal, that deal can still pass. We can find the votes without them, but they can retaliate. They can immediately turn around and punish McCarthy by calling a vote to end his speakership, and if they do, all it takes is five of them to vote against him, and he's done. And the thing about McCarthy is that he very much wants to remain speaker, which means a lot of what this boils down to is one man trying to keep his job. If he can't figure out a way to do that, then the odds of default go way up, because I genuinely don't know if he's willing to sacrifice his job as speaker to prevent default. And look, you may listen to me and have some stuff that you disagree with, and I respect that. I could be wrong about some stuff, but I'm not wrong in telling you that if we default, it takes every single problem that our country has and makes it worse. It would be one of those decisions we immediately regretted. Clock's ticking, and I will keep you posted.